Good morning, uh, Excellencies, uh, distinguished delegates and guest speakers. A very warm welcome to you. I can see that in the midst of this, life persists. In the midst of untruth, truth persists. In the midst of darkness, light persists. The man we celebrate today was a first, leading the way in ways that have inspired generations to do better. The moral force of a nonviolent struggle for equality and justice has triumphed in many parts of the world during the last seven decades since India's own independence. As Secretary General Antonio Guterres said earlier today, Mahatma Gandhi proved that nonviolence can change history. It is striking how much he thought in terms that we today refer to as the 2030 Agenda. Virtually everything that Mahatma Gandhi stood for, fought for, try to address was very much premised on this principle of leaving no one behind. At a time of protracted conflicts and complex challenges, Gandhi's philosophy of nonviolence remains an inspiration. Gandhi died and burned, his ashes gathered and thrown into the river fast to flow, partly clung at the edges and were mothered to grow well into reeds long, long ago. We are met today at a time when nonviolence is spreading all over the globe, the Global Nonviolent Action Database at Swarthmore College has recently logged more than 1,000 notable campaigns in nonviolence around the world. When asked what peace and security meant to them, young people across very different contexts expressed that peace and security are more than just the absence of violence. That in order to reach lasting peace in the world, we will need to start with the children. Gandhi was pioneering many concepts that are currently promoted by environmentalists. We can consider him as a postmodern philosopher. Mr. Gandhi was not only an Indian, he belongs to the whole world, he belongs to humanity.